Hello, fellow business owners. Uh, my name is Mac Frederick. Today we're going to talk about how to verify your Google My Business location. Uh, Google My Business is a free listing uh, feature uh, that you can set up for free and create a Google My Business account to show up on Google Maps and uh, Google search results for small local and service business areas. Uh, I'm going to talk about how to verify your new Google My Business listing. There's a couple different ways to do this and we're going to walk through those. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like and comment and turn on that bell for post notifications. Every week I like to drop blogs and videos talking about digital marketing, SEO, Google My Business and much more. Uh, as a fellow business owner, I'm going to talk to you today about how to verify your new Google My Business listing. So let's get into it. So first thing you're going to want to do is log in. Uh, we manage hundreds of business listings within our account. Uh, we work with over 100 small businesses and there's different ways to get verified. So uh, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create your business account and you're going to add your business name, your address, your phone number. So let's say Mac Frederick Marketing, you know, put your business name your category um, and you're going to fill out some information. If you're a physical location, you hit yes. If you're a service area, hit no. They're still going to want to send you a postcard or some sort of verification and there's different ways to verify. So put your name, your address, phone number, uh, whatever you can. And if you uh, are a new business, they need to send you a verification. There's a couple different ways. The main way is from a Google My Business postcard. My business, if you search here, this is what it'll look like. Uh, if we go to images, you're going to get a postcard in the mail if they choose to mail you a postcard to verify your address, whether it's a physical retail location, brick and mortar, or even if you're a service area business and you want to hide your address. You're going to get a code like this uh, from a postcard in the mail. And what you do with that code is you take this code right here. And if you need to verify your listing, uh, what you'll do is you'll see right here where it says enter code. So we'll just use this account here for the example. And you're going to want to enter that code just as how it came up in that postcard. Now this is an example, this isn't actually the code, but once you do that, it's going to let you verify the listing and how to verify your GMB with a postcard. I believe we have some other documentation about this. There's a video right here, verify Google My Business with a postcard. I'll link that in the description. Uh, the other ways to verify your listing, what you could do, you might have the option for this, is, oops, right here we have um, another example. So let's go to a different example where you could use a phone call or email verification. So one of my friend's companies, Jewelry Repair Club, verification required, get verified. So it doesn't say enter code, it says get verified. So if we click that, let's see the options Google gives us. In order to fully manage and represent this business on Google, you'll need to confirm that it's yours. Select how you'd like to get the verification code. They can call your business number directly right here and they'll tell you the code over the phone or you can have them email it directly to you. Uh, and you put your email right here. We're gonna choose the email option and it'll email the code. Hopefully this goes through correctly. So choose the email it and it'll say enter the five digit code. So I'm going to contact my friend, the client, and I'm going to pause this. And then once we get that code, we're going to put that in here. While we wait for that code, there is a fourth option. The first option is the postcard. Second option is a phone call if you're lucky. Third option is an email if you're lucky. And it really depends on the type of business and how Google thinks your business is operated. Uh, here's another physical location be uh, business for massage therapy and verification required. It says get verified. It doesn't say enter code. So if we hit get verified for this one, uh, it gives us the phone call option or text option. So we are going to send a text and we can send a text to this number, which that is actually her cell phone. And we're going to uh, screenshot this and send it to the business owner. 
All right, and we are back. So we got the code for the text we sent out to the client. Uh, it might not let this go through, but let's see, 917358. This is the text message uh, GMB verification code. Let's see if this goes, all right, it was accepted, it went through. So now the GMB listing will be pending, but you can start making initial edits to the listing. So you can add some photos. We're gonna skip that for now. And your business profile is almost ready. You continue to edit it. So now we can log into the business account. And this is what it's gonna look like on Google. Uh, Google rebranded to the Google Business Profile. So it's not gonna be live just yet. It's still not visible, so it's processing your verification. It takes a few minutes. But if we go back in here and we refresh the page, what we're gonna see, if we scroll down here to that listing, processing. And now we can manage the profile. So here, now we're logged in. We can get reviews. It says pending. It could take up to three days to publish. But now we can go through and start editing the listing, um, adding location areas, adding the hours of operation, adding any services, attributes, descriptions, opening dates, start adding posts and photos, uh, services. Make sure to completely optimize this listing. Start adding Google posts like this. Uh, start adding photos right here and start adding out your services and start building out the rest of your information. Same thing goes for this one. Once we would get that code, we would just enter the code and verify it. It was emailed to the client. And so those are the different methods. You have the postcard, you have the phone call, you have the text message, and you have the email. The only other way that I've seen before is for if you're suspended or disabled on Google My Business, uh, they'll ask for any supporting documentation or they'll ask for a video verification where you do a video showing your business. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, my name is Mac Frederick. You can Google me uh, if you want to look me up for more information about us or you can go to our website, needmomentum.com for Momentum Digital. Uh, I used to work at Google in the ads department. Now I run a seven-figure marketing agency helping hundreds of small businesses across the U.S. Um, if you have any questions about Google My Business, local SEO, um, web design, Google Ads, anything like that, give us a call, uh, reach out, and if we can help you, we'll do the best we can. And um, please drop any comments and make sure to share this video. And uh, as a small business owner, it's crazy, it's a whirlwind, but just keep on keeping on. And if you need any help, don't uh, hesitate to reach out. Thanks and talk to you soon.